Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to Ram Overload. Today I'm going to be talking about a brand new app that Microsoft is working on. Okay, so you, this is not in the Microsoft Store yet or anywhere on their website, but it is something they have been working on for a little while now for something for Windows 11 as well as Windows 10. Okay, it's a new PC manager app. So part of it, you can similarly think of kind of like CC Cleaner. I know C Cleaner, uh, which most people know about, and this is kind of similar to that, but um, it's by Microsoft. So right now, it's still in the beta version. It is available, I believe, on their China website, um, but not on their English website, which is still in beta on that one. So yeah, you want to go to this link, pcmanager-en.microsoft.com. And just click the download button on the top right and it should download. It takes a couple minutes to install. I already have it installed, so I'll just pull it up. You can see right here. Let me minimize this. All right. So now we can see over here health check, boost your PC's performance, you know, temporary files, how much memory is being used, how many processes, what's my storage available. Uh, health checks, security, you know, any updates or anything like that. So let's just go to each one and sh show you how it works. So health check. So it's going to just send my computer, you know, viruses or anything like that. Your typical scanning um, on your PC, like you would have probably on Windows Defender if you have it built in, or if you use it automatically in the background. So you can see over here, these are startup apps to disable. Um, I just have these, which I'll leave those. And then these are the items to clean up. So I have a total of 1.3 gigabytes that I can clean up, which for now I'll leave. Um, but you can see over here, which are the temporary files up here. All right, now storage management. You know, you can see I'm pretty much full almost on my disk usage and you can do a deep clean, manage large files, manage apps, storage sense, all different ways to see what's taking up space on your PC, how you can clean it. And you know, sometimes there are always hidden files that you don't know about somewhere in a folder, which is taking up like, you know, gigs of space. Um, this definitely will help you find it easily. All right, process management. So these are the processes running currently on my PC. You can see Visual Studio and how much memory each one's using. So it's kind of similar to Task Manager. So let me just pull that up on the side. So you can see Visual Studio is 1.2 gigs, same. Uh, Microsoft Edge 5.4. Um, yeah, and you can see all the my um, processes that are running over there. And you can delete them likewise um, if you need to. Uh, just, you know, end it, click it. All right, going back, startup apps. So last startup time was seven seconds, uh, zero high impact apps. Now this I already checked, you know, I've unselected things that I don't want to start up automatically. I, um, I don't even know why I have CCleaner anymore on my PC. Um, so yeah, you know, I don't need Zoom meetings to start up or all of this other stuff. You know, a lot of applications that you download, you know, might add something to start up. So there's something running in the background, which, you know, obviously you don't want, right? Uh, like, I, I don't know, why would I want Figma agent to be running in the background? And, you know, even though it might have a low impact, a lot of low impacts could, you know, affect it in one way or another. So yeah, um, I already selected the ones that I do want to enable. You know, if you're using Rain Meter, keep it on. But yeah, um, you can select that and it's similar to the one over here, startup apps on your task manager. So I don't know why it's not loading. Uh, it's just bugging out right now, but yeah, let's just stick to the PC manager. So now we can go on the bottom security over here. We can see the Windows update, browser protection, um, prevents other pro programs from modifying the default browser settings, pop-up management, and then it'll pop up block. And Windows update, all these updates available. Okay, so, and scan, lastly, it's just for Microsoft uh, Windows Defender uh, to scan it from here. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, this is a beta application, so I do believe the final application will be, uh, might have some more features in it, but it'll definitely be a lot more, you know, 
for uh, complete you know some things over here might be a little slightly buggy but other than that um they should be working perfectly fine when the final release comes out so yeah if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next time peace